This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Triple G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Jeep, and with me is Host of Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. You can also watch our video podcast over on youtube.com slash drip jeep. Drip? When is going to be the next time I mess up the intro? Never. Because this is episode, I believe this is episode 34 of season two. Yeah. So when is the next time I'm going to mess it up? Are we, are we, are we going to? Are we taking bets? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Uh, ne- it'll be next week now. <laughs> it, might, it just might be. Listen, in my current snotty, 100%. throat itchy, snotty feeling right now, and I didn't mess it up, I don't know if it's ever going to happen again. But uh, Drip- I don't know. You've got it, man. It's taken a couple, you know. It's like, did you, you said a couple of years, didn't you? Yeah, it's taken, it's it feels like a around. couple of years, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> but it's it, taken a while, at least a year. This is, uh, I, I, I think... We're actually not too far. We're closer to two years than we are one year. I know that. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We've been doing this podcast yeah, yeah. since what? May? Officially, since, at least. Dude, May since, like, of 2021. 90s, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like 92, man. Yeah. I was the, 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 the Dripping Embryo podcast. <laughs> <laughs> back when podcasts were the, really the, big the, back in the, 1992 the dripping sperm podcast because i wasn't even gb i was just a spermie in my daddy's ball sack. in 92 come on man god i'm old all right yeah anyway. sorry <laughs> sorry to burst your bubble there how how's your week been you're uh, sick but i mean other than that how's the week been the week been f- uh, the week has been fine I've been doing a lot more YouTube stuff recently. I post more videos, doing more streams. I noticed that. That is going to continue to happen. I think I've kind of settled on two Twitch streams a week, which I'd settled on before and then gone back and forth, back and forth. I think we are seriously settling on on I'd say, on, my phone. on Wednesday and Fridays, our, our Twitch days, and those are nights. Nice. And then a couple, uh, either one or two times a week, I'll be on YouTube live, and hopefully, hopefully, a video a week. So, yeah, good. Doing yeah, I good things. Streamed, I haven't streamed since the Animal Crossing thing yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, the, the Halloween party. I haven't been on Twitch in a long time. Uh, I did listen to this. This is crazy. You know what I did the other night? First time ever. First time ever. I did a villager hunt off stream by my like. Well, Kim what? was here, but I like I just did it. Yeah. Why? I just why? Did why it. Why'd you do that? Well, I had okay. So I let uh I let somebody move out the day of Halloween when I was getting stuff ready. Yeah. And then Kim had said that whatever day it was, what was it? Tuesday, Monday, uh, Tuesday. I can't remember either way. Uh, she said, Oh, somebody wants to leave. I'm going to let him leave. And I was like, Oh, you could villager hunt. And I was like, Oh my God, that's right. I could villager hunt. I need to go back and make sure I don't mess it up. But I went back to the day after, uh, <laughs> Halloween and did it. But I did it off stream. It's crazy, man. I've never done that. It is. Uh, it's a quite fun activity to, to do hey, on stream getting, or not. I was getting. Yeah, I was getting sick of it. I was like, man. Yeah, it's. No. It's. I would say it's more fun on stream because it's there's a chat to interact with. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Well, and plus, it's, it's fun until you use the the twentieth ticket. And you're like, yeah. It, well, kill me. she was she was villager hunting too, but she, she she was like ten tickets in. Like, oh yeah, it's good. I'm good. I'm like, really? You're giving? You're gone that early? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I used like yeah, yeah, yeah. thirty tickets. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, Drip, we we have an episode ahead of us. We haven't said a word about the episode though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what's not? What's not? Let's just we'll get to it naturally, shall we? Let's just do it naturally. Let's we'll, let's begin with the very first thing we want to talk about. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that was going to be Sonic. We were going to touch on. I just Sonic. wanted to touch on it really quick because we talked about it last week. We had a little bit of time with it and then talked about it, but man. I am really, really, really liking Sonic a whole lot. Are like, you? A whole lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm out. Of, I, I don't. I, you know, I never have a lot of time to play games. Yeah. So I'm taking it. I'm, I'm probably, I think I'm 12 hours in. Okay. But I'm I'm about to finish the second island, the desert area. I'm in about the to finish right it. Now. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'm about to finish the second one uh, and head to the third. I love it, man. I love it. Now that I'm leveling him up and like there's uh. You know, I, I I love it. I love it. Yeah. it. It's very. It is kind of repetitive. You do kind of the same things on the on different islands. I heard uh, that I island like, three. Just to let you know, I heard island three is different. Really? Mm-hmm. 
I won't spoil oh, for now you. Now I'm even more excited. Sweet. Okay, well, Island 2 I really like because it's desert. It's way bigger and way harder to traverse. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just enjoying it so much. I, I, I know you, you kind of were not as high on it. <laughs> That's correct. Um, as far as if you would ask me that question now, I have slowly began to like it. I think what happened is that I started the game. This is my first Sonic, uh, 3D Sonic game, and I had not experienced a game like that before. The fastness was hard to control. The controls it's themselves bad. are, let's just say, not the best. I think even the Sonic fans were saying, yeah, Sonic controls are not I the best. I kind of like it now. Honestly, now that I'm used to it and I can control him a little better, and I've learned this. Don't just press forward. When you're going fast, press forward. Move the camera, not the stick. And you have so much more control. Yeah. yeah. So much more control. I, I did learn that. It, it helps a ton. That's kind of the um, sentiment I've been hearing from Sonic fans of other past Sonic games, 3D games. And they were saying, yeah, once you get used to controls, you're fine with them. But they do yeah. it. They will say, yeah, I mean, they're definitely not the best controls. You have to get used to them. But once you yeah. do, you like the game better. But yeah, no, I've, I was playing the game on stream last Wednesday, not this past Wednesday, but the Wednesday before. And... I think, or was it actually no? I don't know if it's true or not. I can't remember now. But uh, I was playing. I was playing Sonic, and, and we were on the first boss battle. The 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 giant giant guy. You know. Oh man, so sick. So uh, sick. I I was cursing and struggling for like a half hour there, and, and I think we finally beat it after forty five minutes or so of me figuring out how to beat the guy, what, what you had to do with the parry and stuff and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, no, it was it was as I'm getting frustrated and hating the game and cursing myself out and the game, I'm like. This is actually really fun. <laughs> so, the parry, the it, parry is the thing. You gotta, you gotta hit the yeah. both buttons. And, yeah, I, that boss battle solidified my this game is cool. That this game is cool. I've accepted the game for what it is. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. Not exactly, at least. Some of it is not exactly. That's fair. That's and fair. it is incredibly fun. I'm, I'm glad I picked it up. Someone joked with me. Someone was like, "Yo, you should just uh, sell Sonic." to pick up the Pokemon game like nah, no actually I don't want to do that because uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun with Sonic I think it's even yeah. on the Switch even on the Switch with the bad not bad I shouldn't it, say bad it, with, with the bad it's, it's bad visuals it bad it visuals it's definitely listen now, they are bad visuals the performance yeah. is the performance is different the performance it's, is fine yeah the visuals are bad it, it does look bad even like, with that now that I've played it for for a good bit of time yeah I've seen what it looks like on everything else it's it's miles worse on yeah. the Switch as far as... I, I rated a PS5 it player. Thought of playing Sonic Frontiers. I was like, it's as if you're, you take your glasses and took one of your glasses wipies and wiped them all off and like, oh, that's what it's supposed oh, to yeah. look like. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly what happened. Uh, looks great. <laughs> look, I wish I bought on PC, but then again, I don't because of the, the handheld experience and TV, I could like play my TV as well and not, I don't have to sit here. That is a benefit. So yeah. you take you take you take some stuff, you lose some stuff. But anyway, yeah. that's the, this this episode is not about Sonic. It's also it's not. It's also not going to be about Pokemon. But let me tell it's you not. something. But let me tell you something. Pokemon came out yesterday, two days today. ago. If you're, if you're in Australia, I'm sorry, it came out today, yesterday. If you're in Australia, which Correct. I watched my uh, my buddy Fappy after yes. race over on Twitch, uh, watched him play for three hours yesterday in, in uh, old uh, Aussie land. I did not buy the game, Drip, and I believe you did not buy the game either. I did not buy the game, and I do not plan on buying the game. I actually decided I wasn't going to be buying the game a few weeks ago. I haven't really talked about it, but yeah. I, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go ahead and say it right here today. I, I'm just not, I'm not a Pokemon guy. I'm just not. I tried. I mean, I, I, gave, I, I, I gave Let's Go. A real shot. I actually like that one. I gave Sword and Shield a real shot. I don't know. I got to a certain point. I was like, I'm done. You know, I, I didn't do uh I didn't do Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. I knew I wasn't gonna like that. Um Pokemon Snap, hundred percent down with that. Love that game. Uh Arceus. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It was cool. I, like the idea was cool. I like where they're going with it. It's just not for me. This Open world, cool idea. It's just I'm ju I just cannot get into Pokemon, and I, I really have given it a solid effort, but I'm I think I'm kind of done trying at this point. There's off off games like the uh, like I said, like Pokemon Snap. I'm with that. I like that, but I mean I feel like I gave it a real shot, and it's, it's just just not. It's not for me. It's not for me. 
I respect your uh, stance on Pokemon. Um, you and I, I would say, we're in a very similar place in our Pokemon fandom pre Arceus. And I would say post Arceus is where you and I took a shift. And I'm talking about in terms of Pokemon games. Because I, I was wanted, always. I wanted. I was always a. I was like I said, we were, we were both. We were very similar place. We both really wanted to like the games. And I think after post Arceus, you decided. Because you were. What you just said, you basically just said, it was I. Not for me. Yeah. I, on the other hand, played Arceus, and I'm not going to say it's the same thing I got with Breath of the Wild, but it, I am in love with Arceus. I think, that, you know what, actually, looking, looking at the new Pokemon game and watching Scar Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, looking at all the gameplay that I've seen, has made me realize how much I actually love Arceus in particular. Now, I'm not, talking about, I'm, not, I'm not talking about gameplay style or anything like that. It's, they're very similar games in a lot of ways and different in, other, in others. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the, here's the big thing. Arceus has a charm. There is a charm to Arceus. And this yeah, charm, I, I, this I charm don't, is... I don't disagree. This charm, I, yeah, I have not played the game, so you got to take my opinion with a grain of salt. I know it's your favorite term, Drip. Uh, but, but it's true. I have not actually played the game, so take it for what it is. But I did watch three hours of a live stream. So, I mean, that's quite a bit. <laughs> and uh, it's missing that charm that Arceus has. It's set, Arceus is set back in time. The music is, I don't know, that music is, I don't know what you'd call it. It's not ancient, but it gives you that feel of you're back in a different time, in a different world. Uh, obviously, the story is pretty silly in Arceus. I think every Pokemon game ever, the story is pretty silly. Kind of aimed toward kids. Can't do much about that. Uh, that's not really what I'm here to talk about. It's just that charm. Arceus just has it. And I've always... Pokemon has had a special place in my heart. I was born in 94. So uh, put you guys and everyone... Now you know how old I am. You can put yourself... Trip. <laughs> you can put yourself in, in time frames. You know, where were you at in 94? Where were you at in 98 when Pokemon came out? 96, whatever it was. And I was... I was the kid who was buying the Pokemon. Well, my mom was buying me Pokemon cards to play the trading card game. I was the kid who watched the TV show, and I was not the kid playing the video games on the Game Boy. That was for my brother, but I'd watch him play as I'm watching the TV show and while we're tra playing a trading card game. And I was all in on Pokemon as a kid. So it, that nostalgia was already there; it already existed. It got reinvigorated with Pokemon Go, and every game since they put since Pokemon Go. I know Pokemon Go is not a real full Pokemon game. I understand, but we had. Short and sealed? Nah, I wasn't really interested. Let's go games? I was interested in Let's Go Games because it was a Gen 1 Pokemon. And I did play yeah. it and I did sort of enjoy it. But it wasn't quite there. Uh Arceus though. Oh, uh, but blue uh, shield uh blue and diamond, the remakes, the brilliant diamond. Those were pretty fun. Those are games that were already came out, they were older, that uh the remade on the Switch. They're good. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed them. Didn't finish them, but I enjoyed my time with the game I spent. Probably twenty hours in there or so. Uh, Arceus, though, it changed that. Like I said, that's where you and I kind of split. You were like, these games are not for me. And I was like, I'm starting to enter the like, I, I'm starting to like the franchise. Um, the reason I didn't buy Pokemon was a few different reasons. But the main reason was I just want to see. I, I don't need to buy day one because, listen, nobody's going to watch it anyway mm. on day one because everyone's playing it. No one wants to watch it because everyone's playing it. So anyone who, at least anyone who wanted to watch Pokemon anyway or play it. Right. So I was like, right. I'll, I'm going to give it a second. Let's watch some streams. Let's, let's see what's up with it. It's missing that charm. And we haven't even got to the, to the performance problems. issues. To we haven't even that's, got to that. That's, that's literally all I want to talk about. Like, dude, come on. Like, that's all I've seen today. That is all I've seen is like, you're watching a Pokeball just stop completely for two seconds and then the world the around it glitches starts coming back in and a bridge and this and that and it's my buddy fappy was leaving a building and the world was gone and he was free falling for a second yeah i, I mean dude among four like, like, among other glitches he had he multiple right, i wrote them down right, but right, I, I, and I that's yeah i mean yeah you can go through some of those if you want i mean that it's non-stop i just watched another video of just a list of somebody this the stuff they found today uh, just the camera completely leaving the area and going way up in the air for no reason. The ground completely just disappearing underneath of you. Uh, half the world just disappearing and then loading back in piece by piece. We frame a, rate. The frame rate is the frame rate is 
it's not only un- inexcusable, dude. Yeah. Inexcusable. I think inexcusable, like, uh, unacceptable would be the the title of the game for me. Unacceptable. Yeah, I mean, dude, the, like, but that's the that's where. Well, hold on. Like, I, I want to talk about my, the one the one particular glitch we talked about earlier before we got live. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fappy was in a, so there's a part of the game where you're in a classroom. Talking about your, uh, your, I don't, again, I didn't play the game. I was watching him, so I wasn't, and I was half watching, half not. But he's in the classroom, right? In, in the Pokemon area, in the Pokemon City, whatever. And he gets into the classroom of 20 kids, and, you know, kids kind of moving their legs around. They got their arms swinging. They're moving back and forth, talking to each other, passing notes, and whatnot. Yeah. But you guys remember the, wind, the windmill controversy where the windmill was, was going like two frames a second in uh, all the, the, uh, the, the trailers and stuff? Well, but every, all 20 of those kids, all 20 of those kids in that room were going, were doing that two frames per second choppy motion for like five minutes in a cutscene for five minutes. It was insane. Fappy is a huge Pokemon fan, and even he, even he was laughing out loud. He's laughing at the game. If the game had feelings, it would have been hurt because that's how hard have Fappy was laughing. It would have been, been embarrassed. And I think that's exactly what Game Freak and Nintendo should be right now. They should be Dude, this, embarrassed. It's crazy. This is crazy. Like, we, had God remember, Award, we had God Award just come out. You can see that man's pew pairs okay, in great detail. I'm does, just saying, all I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is that's, that's the, the, that's the competition. That, okay, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> that, we, we know it's not about, it's not all about graphics. No, that it's not. That doesn't matter. It's not, but it's about experience. Well, and you cannot, yeah. you, you lose the immersion. You lose the immersion. When you can't even play the, yeah, when, when you're playing the game and half the, the world just falls out from underneath you. It's like, or you laughing your ass off watching the kids in the classroom go choppy for five minutes. You lose the immersion. It's no longer a video game. And it's like, a, we'll just, let's just laugh at this for a while. Because, like, that's all you can do. Okay, well, here's, here's what I want to say about it. And, and I said the same thing. Back in the day, one of the first, it was one of the first reviews I did. One of the first game reviews I did was uh, Sword and Shield. And I, I, I was pretty rough on it because of all these been. little stupid things. Like you shake a tree and shit falls through the ground. Like, why yeah. isn't it on the ground? Like, what that? Come on, really? Yeah. And then, you know, at that point, everyone's like, oh, you know, game freaks used to doing 3DS stuff. You know, it's, this is. This is a huge step for them. Excuse. Like HD. Excuse, huge excuse. step. Okay, no, but at the time, okay, yeah. First try, you, you, you tripped. You tripped and you fell, but you got back up. You came, you came back at it again. And what's the next one we got from them, from Game Freak? Uh, that would be the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl remakes, would it they not? They didn't do that. No, they did not do Are Brilliant you Diamond. positive? I am pretty positive about that i think tyson could help me out on that but i, I think oh. someone else did those uh i think it was arceus uh, now arceus if not that's the only other game that came out I mean, arceus wise. looks yeah arceus look doesn't look great either i mean let's be honest. Uh, well 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 let's pause there uh so it's funny you say that I, I wanted to make sure i was not crazy right again we didn't we don't, i don't own the game i was not playing the game on my switch hardware so i was watching it in a, on a stream of a capture card. So obviously I I did take that in consideration when when judging the game's performance based off well the, the visuals, the performance you can see clear as day. But the, vis, the, the but the visuals, that's got that's got I gotta I gotta render that in my own head and curve my expectations because it was a stream of the capture card, right? But I had to go back and play Arceus today. I did for like an hour. I was having some fun. Um just to refamiliarize myself with the game. And I gotta tell you, man, Arce- not only are the frame rates more stable, if not stable as I fuck. Believe that. I, no, I believe but that. The, the, the game is just clarity overall. We, we, oh, were, make, we were making I, fun of it. When it, Argus came out, we were making fun of the edges. But remember how we were very... It e- looks like... Dude, well, it we looks were fine. Shit. But we were fine with the edges, though. We were like, they're bad, but it's fine. Yeah, I know. Oh, I agree. This game does not... that The, the edges okay. are bad, and it's not fine. It's extra fuzzy in this game. Okay, okay yeah. Here's my point. But, yeah. Either way, either way, each time, it, it's, it's not... This is the biggest franchise in the world. And I know Pokemon players are saying it's not about graphics. I agree. It's not about graphics. It's not. There's a lot of things in, into, and, and that goes into says, a game. You know, it's about, it's about this. It's about, it's about this is what the Pokemon games are about. It's about this thing. And I understand that. And I get it. 
But at some point, it's like, yo, can you can you stop putting out shit, please? Like, we know everybody's going to buy it anyway, but can you, like, make a complete game? Like, one that works. Can you polish it, please? Good? Can you yes. please? But that's really what it is. And I, I don't want to go ahead. Go ahead. You have more to say? Yeah, I, I do. I, the, the thing about it is, and, and that's kind of where I was going with this. You're, you're talking about the biggest franchise in the world with Pokemon. Like, they have the money to make this work. And like the time limit thing, I used to say, okay, it's time limit. They've got to, they've got to be with the, They've got to be with the cards. They've got to be with the TV show. I get that. Put more people on this. Put more people on this and get it done the right way. Because this is this is ridiculous at this point. It's ridiculous. And the biggest the biggest thing about it that really pisses me off, and it's like I, I just I'm sick of the excuses. This is a Nintendo game. This is a game that is only on Nintendo systems. You look at every other Nintendo game polish every one of them yep that's what's great about nintendo games they may not have the highest pixel count they may not be 60 frames per second but for what they are they look great more than more than they don't they run great i mean that's the one thing nintendo has is polish the, the, yeah the games when they when they're put out they're put out the right way. That's why we get so many delays on Zelda games. That's why that's why these things take the time they take because they put them out the right way. This is still a Nintendo game. They they own part of the Pokemon company. Nintendo is a part owner. I don't know why this is not treated the same way as everything else they have. Why this gets to come out as a polished turd and everything else gets time. Put more people on it. Just put more people on it. That's it. If you don't have the time, if it's got to go when everything else goes, put more people on it and get it done the right way. I just, I don't get it. You're echoing. It doesn't make sense anymore. You were, at, you just were echoing what I was saying months ago, months and months ago, before our case came out and we were talking about graphics and stuff. And I gotta, well, be, on, point, I gotta be honest with you. I gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I, I didn't feel like, I feel like I, you guys were kind of against me back then. We had Tyson, uh, our good friend Tyson, was on the podcast no. back then. And I was saying very similar things that what you're saying right now. I was just ahead of the curve, and I could see the future. Yeah, okay. I was well, seeing okay. the future. Yeah. I'm not I saying, I wasn't that. saying, I'm not, I don't mean literally I was here's, seeing the future. Here's what I'm, here's, but th- here's what that's I where this, about that. That's where this leads. Is to, to this yeah. day happens today. Today happens because months, and let's be face it, years ago, as we're making all the excuses for Game Freak, every you make excuse, that's an excuse, that's an excuse. It's this, it's right. that, the benefit other thing. Benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the it's doubt. It's over is still now. But now it's, I, yeah. I, it seems like the rest of the world's caught up to me. <laughs> that's that's well, what it I seems mean, like. You, I was already you, there. Because I, I've been there, guys. I've been there. I was seeing, I saw what Game Freak has been doing, and I saw the path they were on. It's like they had two, they had Brilliant Diamond and Arceus to clean up their shit. Because their first game on Switch was uh, Sword and Shield. They're, that's a Paul Pass for them. They had two yeah. games. They had two games to clean it up, and they didn't clean up in either two games. And now they're gonna. They're within well, less than a year of Arceus. They're gonna say, "Let's do an open world Pokemon well, game that's on, never been done before." On, and on. you expect the game to be better? Now let me let me ask you this, because I think, I do think, and you kind of said this earlier. I do think that at this point, again, haven't played the new ones, but I've seen the issues. I think that they were kind of making steps forward with Arceus. They I sure did. It was, I, 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 I thought it was steps forward. This seems like they've taken two steps back at this point. Well, they did take uh, steps forward with Arceus. Uh, graphics were better. They were better than Sword and Shield. They were. Edges were cleaner. There were, there were yeah. issues with Arceus, like we have talked about in previous episodes a long time ago. But issues aside, overall, the package itself was better than, than Sword and Shield visuals. Um. This game is as absolutely a step back. It's a step forward in certain areas, a lot of areas. Of Pokemon. It's a big, big leap uh, in Pokemon for Pokemon fo- Pokemon fandom and, and game right now. It's a big leap. It's a big step. Also, it's a it's also a leap in the opposite direction for a lot of things. Of Pokemon. But I want to talk about this trip because we've heard we've had po- uh, Tyson in our podcast, a true Pokemon diehard, um, and we've heard this sentiment come from a lot of people who are big Pokemon fans that it's not about the visuals, it's about the game. But I I, just, I took went ahead. I took the liberty myself. To separate a video game, uh, and you can help me out if you want to add a category or whatnot, but we'll see. I, 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 split, I split a game into four categories because 
Well, we can say it's this, we can say it's that, we can prefer one over the other. Regardless, these are the four categories that make up a game. Okay? Help me out. See if I'm right. Story. A video game. Visuals. Performance. Two separate things. Gameplay. And then there's a bunch of subcategories within those categories. But those four main categories are what make up a video game. I'll say them again. So, uh, story. Visuals. Performance. And gameplay. Okay? Is, am I missing something? No. Yeah, that's- Let's start with story. Maybe you could argue it's less important in in this in these games right here in Pokemon, but mm. stories. I would say it's not. It's neither bad nor good. It is there, and it's fine. Yeah, there I mean, are subcategories. Yeah. There are subcategories in there. We could get we could get nitty gritty about how the there's no uh, voice acting or anything like that. It's a little disappointing in that aspect, but you know, at this point, yeah, we we could go down that road, but that would take too much time. So like, all right, you know, all right, all right. N- next category, visuals. Okay. It's, it's gonna be hard for us for this new Scarlet and Violet because we neither of us have it. We can't really get a clear definition, the pun intended, of of the clarity of the of game. The act, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to tell with um, YouTube videos. But I mean that again, that's not uh, that's not even something I care about really with with Pokemon games. I already know it's gonna be crap. Yeah, I would say it's it's not incredibly important, but it it should matter. You should care whether if a game is running it. 180p or not (laughs) i mean i do i mean you know what i mean it's just Uh, not it's it's not not super it's not huge important thing yeah performance it's kind of important i so this is where i I think pokemon pokemon fans disagree maybe they haven't categorized like i'm categorizing it where gameplay performance are separate entities because the how the game runs is different than if the game looks good because how the game looks will determine how it runs uh but anyway the performance okay. in this game, the, the the inconsistent frame rates, the bugs, which can be fixed um, if they chose to. It should have been fixed I on mean, day one before it was released, but they can do it. They can, they can, they can put a bandaid on this later on. Yeah, I'm but pretty sure there a, already a, was one patch, but... Uh, didn't fix a lot of the problems, clearly. Yeah. Um, but uh, the, how the game runs, the frame rates and stuff like that, that is incredibly important. And it's 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 not it doesn't mean it doesn't have to be sixty. We're not talking about oh it needs to be better performance over if, if it's a stable thirty. If it's Arceus, we can't complain too too much. We can want more. We can want more, but there's no real room to complain. This game it is not stable whatsoever, any shape or form. Yeah. And the last part Great. is is gameplay. That is what Pokemon fans are stressing out. That 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 is what's important. I agree. That is more than half of what's important of the game. If the gameplay sucks, we I don't care how good it performs. How good it looks. And it sucks. It's a game. It's a game sucks. And this game, I think the gameplay in this game is fantastic. I think it's, it's just, it's, yeah, it's I mean, a big from, step forward. Now, again, for, for the big Pokemon people, yeah, everybody, everybody's, yeah, this, that part of it's great from what I hear. But I mean, you, you got to be able to play the game without it, you know, throwing you into the sky or the, the ground falling out from underneath of you. Or like pausing or, for three seconds. Or and, pausing, yeah. Like, and coming back and choppy. Honestly, the biggest thing that I've seen that I'd be like, I- I'm out. On or, that. or five minutes of cutscenes where all the kids are like, fucking look like they're from when it like dying. Actually, just stops, and then it's like, wow, man. embarrassing. For 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 what's the biggest franchise in the world? Yeah, it's embarrassing. But I mean, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Maybe they'll fix it. I don't know. Let's hope so. Um. Let's hope so. The final topic for tonight, guys, is actually probably why a lot of you guys are here right now. As uh, Drip posted a video today. Oh man, triggered a bunch of people. That that title really pissed people off, man. Yeah, I bet. I, I got a bunch of I, I got a see, bunch you, of you hate see, comments uh, that uh, clearly they didn't watch the video first. I was like, hey, you should just watch the video. You should watch it before you before you be so mean to me. I sorry. You know, it's They're it's mad. funny. There's there's some times where we talk about your, your your quote unquote clickbait titles, and it's like you know what? At the end of the day, it's definitely it's riding a line, but you're definitely just to put it that way because you make you spin it the way that it, and it works. This one, I it, I think it's perfect. This is a good. This a this was a really good one. I thought because listen, you were you're I a thousand. So so, there was one comment I saw in your YouTube videos that I was like, this person hit right in the nail on the head. I don't remember which one it was, but they said something to the effect of like, uh. Like it's per- you're, it's perfect. Like you're you're totally overreacting to something that's totally, uh, exactly you were that you're right about 100. percent Like you're overreacting yeah. to things that are 100 percent correct. 
<laughs> like essentially, like like yeah. I mean, you you definitely are exaggerating. You know, in oh, yes, in, in your that, thumbnail yes, and stuff. Obviously, it's exaggerated. But, but I mean, you're you're 100 percent right about everything you said. 100%. Yeah, I know. I mean, it's. <laughs> I mean, let's let's we can go over it. There's more. Yeah. There's even more. Like there's yeah, so course. many other things. Like I didn't even go in. I beat the dead horse. You know the the switch is underpowered. We don't have a new one. Like. Yeah. I didn't even go there because I guarantee once I talked about in the beginning of the video what it was actually about, I guarantee everybody was like, oh, he's going to talk about a Switch Pro. He's Uh going to talk about a Switch Pro. So I completely left all that out on purpose. Good, good. You know. Well, I'm sure I got like two Switch Pros and videos in me before the year's over, so. (laughs) Uh, No, don't do it. I'm kidding. I won't edit them. (laughs) You do them yourself. Maybe only one. Maybe only one. Hey man, next year it's coming. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Stop it. Sorry, let's not let's not go there. No. Okay, we've done it anyway, so many times. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I think it is crazy when you think about all this stuff. How we've had the, we are literally coming up on six years. Six years. And and a lot of I don't know, a lot of times, especially when you look at the the little things that I, I mentioned in this video, like a lot of times in, in the past and not even just Nintendo, just these companies in general, things like that are slowly added on to or fixed or changed or, yeah. you know, just, just made better. But man, there, some of this, stuff, it's crazy. It's crazy. The one thing I think the biggest of all of them, honestly, well, the Joy Cons are all of them are kind of big things, but I mean, the fact that they have not changed the UI of the Switch whatsoever in six years is crazy. That's crazy. They haven't added anything, and I'm sorry. No, you, I mean, no, 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 that's not true. They added okay. one. They added one thing. One that's, UI it thing. Count. It doesn't even count. It literally doesn't even count because it is it is it makes it harder to find your games. Yeah. You've got to skip through most of the games that you're playing right now anyway to get to the folders. Yeah, we're talking you about folders. Cool. And uh, in Drift's video he talked about, you know, you, if you guys didn't know, you, you have folders on your Switch now. You may you may have missed That's it. The thing. You say, might have missed it. Even know they're there. You might have missed it. They're there. Cuz they bury it in a menu in a menu. You, you're, you know, your main yeah. screen, you go all the way to the right, you press that little icon, it goes ding-a-ding, and it puts that pretty sound, and then, then you press another button, and pops Hell. up another menu. And then you, 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 then, you, then there's your categories of your, 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 you know, your, your folders. I made all one All the folder. way there. All the way over there. Did you make any folders? Yeah, I mean, for fun. I don't use them, because I'm not yeah, insane. I, yeah. I made Why, one. What's the because, point? Oh, I... I I now, if you that have a, if you have, a, found where they if you have a, b- a bajillion games, like a lot of, I'm getting there actually. I have quite a few games at this point. Yeah, I have a bajillion <laughs> games, but I'd rather just go through them. I I'd rather agree. Just go through. I'd rather go through them. It takes the time to set the folders all the way over there. It's like I'm. I, I kind of know where all, all of them are anyway. And what I end up doing is I've set them. I uh, set my that that page. I set up to where the games I play more are at the top. So I don't really need to look that far. The games I'm playing are there at the top, and the games I'm not playing, I'll just look through them. It's fine. Yeah, it's. The fact that they buried it in a menu in a menu. You guys remember like, Windows 8? Anybody out yeah, there remembers you said Windows this 8? Yesterday, I, I agree with you on this. Yeah. It, Windows, Windows phone, 8. Windows 8, like the tile interface. Why did there, a lot of things were a lot of things were bad about Windows 8. A lot of things were bad about Windows yeah, 8. But that would but work you, great the, inter, on the, Switch. the interface was the best part about Windows 8 and Windows Phone in particular. Because it Windows Phone fo- Windows Phone Switch. is kind of what I'm more talking about in terms of the Switch. If they because it's the same thing, just on mobile screen. The same thing as the Switch yeah. with a mobile screen. Take Windows Phone mobile, put that on the Switch. That interface, yeah. that, everything about that interface would be stuck. They the, the, there's an alphabetized app list. Just pretend all the apps are your games. That Windows Phone interface, if you could hack a switch and put Windows Phone on it, operating system, sure, that I'm would sure be a better has. experience. I'm sure it's been done. I'm sure. Yeah. Well, I don't know about that. No one cares about Windows Phone. <laughs> I'm, okay, one well, of those, I'm one of those few nerds who actually knows that, that that was a thing. It's possible that it's been done. <laughs> I'm, I'm a tech There's, guy, too. People, people bought it, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. That, theme, I'm sorry. No, no uh, folders. No, no, no themes. You can't do no, no, pic, no pretty I'm pictures. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. That. 
the, the things that they say about the no themes thing, just, I'm sorry. There's no way. There's no way. So they say that they, they want, they don't want to take up a lot of room on the switches, uh, memory, internal memory, the Ram, and they want everything to run smoothly. So they have to keep it simple like that. Like, dude, come on. We why are you them, always lying? Dude, why yeah, you always lying? It doesn't make any sense. Oh make my sense. god. Okay, so listen. Let's <laughs> let's just let's just put this lying? into perspective. Put this into perspective here. <laughs> we had we had him on the 3DS. Mm -hmm. Now, as you you told me yesterday, we were on the phone, we talked about this yesterday. It did the 3DS had loading the little loading thing. There was a, a loading screen to go to the settings menu. Do you remember okay. that? Anyone who's using a 3DS, 2DS, okay. DS? There were loading but, screens to go to your settings menu. But are you telling me that the Switch, which is way more powerful than a 3DS, uh, way yeah. more powerful, mm -hmm. are you telling me it is going to hinder our experience with the user interface? That much, that much that we can't have a picture in the background and change some of the, the colors of things. It's going to it's going to change the experience and slow everything down that much that we can't have it. That is, it's that much of an issue. The, Are you seriously going to tell me that is even possible? The more I sit and think about it, the more I sit and think about it, the more I think maybe they weren't lying. And here's why. Here's why. No way. I have a no reason. Way. I'm giving you a reason. And we talked about this on the phone yesterday. Bluetooth audio. It's out. We have it on the Switch right now. Yeah. Why'd they wait five years to put it on the Switch? Because it was garbage. It's still garbage. It's not great. It's not a great experience. But it's good, in, it's good enough to where they were they're in the clear. They're like, listen, guys. And Nintendo headquarters are like, listen, guys. Like, listen. We're in the clear. Like, we're not going to offend people with bad Bluetooth audio now. Yeah. Just five years after release. Yeah. Just open it up. Tell, give them a caveat and say, you can't connect this many devices when you have the headphones connected, blah, blah, blah. Give them that caveat. Let them have it. And it was, well, that was the right choice. I think they actually handled that correctly. To wait <laughs> yeah. was probably a good move in there. Not for the consumer. It was a good move for Nintendo. That was the right, that was the good, the best move for them. They, they, I mean, and I, I what well, my point here is that maybe. Maybe you put a wallpaper on there and now the menu drops the frame rate and they're like, who cares? It's a menu. Do I really care that much? How many frames are we talking? I, all I'm saying is that could talking? be the, that's the reason Now, whether it's a valid reason or not is a different question, but that could be, I'm completely guessing. Yeah. I'm I mean, not, pr pr I'm not here. I'm making a fake Twitter account telling you the answers. That okay, they're listen, lying. Let, let me let me, just, let me tell you this. Say, maybe that could be it. The switch gets hacked all the time, and people put all kinds of shit on it, and it still runs fine. Yeah. I don't know. It, it just it doesn't make sense to me. That does that that is one of the ones that I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Like you got to be kidding me. Well, see the one that that to me, and that is a big deal. Don't get me wrong, but the one to me. The one to me that's like, you got to be kidding me. How is this not on Switch right now? Netflix. Yeah, okay. Like, like how? No, no, no. Not all. I mean, you said apps to be general, which is fine Dude, in your video. I, I'm, 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 no, I'm, I know you're right because we'll lose there. But I am saying Netflix. Yeah, that's. How and you in your video? Well, I, to be fair, you you here's another perspective, Drip, because you know you're a guy who has a really nice bed and very very nice little TV in your room. I mean, not so much. It's a it's a nice it's a it's a small TV. It's not nice. It's it's fine. But here's the thing: I hate watching TV in bed, but I love to sit on my belly and look on, on my phone, and YouTube, and stuff. But what's even better with these, this is not the OLED. I would have grabbed my Switch. I wish I had the OLED. With the OLED, the screen is bigger. It is better. And that bomb ass kickstand. And to where I sit my, when nice. I sit on my belly on my bed, I have my nightstand like thing situation, like the whatever the bed thing in front of me. I put my Switch right in front of me. And there's a seven inch screen, which looks like it's 50 right in front of my face. All right, yeah, when it's OLED this close, screen. Yeah. I have an OLED screen in front of my face. 720p, sure. It's 720p, sure. It is 720p. But I mean, uh, OLED is better than any LCD. Who cares about a couple extra pixels per inch? 
that I was Zach's the one night because you said that that the first thing I thought was in my head was like the other night Abby and I are in bed. I'm like Abby, I went because we were playing a game on Switch. We did the weird thing with Joy Cons. I know we did, but we did. We were the people. We were those people using Wait, our Joy Cons in bed. In bed, I don't know you about that. I, I think I, I don't. I can't. I think we had two. So I don't remember. I think it was two sets of story guns. But anyway. Oh, the, so wait. Okay, you did. <laughs> you did this. Yeah, I think so. I, but the point. The point is. You fucking weirdos. <laughs> we're in bed. Come on. We're in bed. Uh, we're in bed. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It's fine. <laughs> but we're playing Switch in bed. I'm like, how awesome would this be if that was Netflix in front of our face right now and not the whatever game we're playing. How awesome would that yeah, be? Yeah, it would be. I, I just, I don't understand how it's not there. Because, I mean, it was on the Wii U. God, it wasn't it on the 3DS? Yes. It's on the fuck. Who the fuck is watching Netflix on a 3DS screen? Who? Who? Do you know how long it took a one minute video in the eShop for the 3DS to load? If you want to watch like the video trailer of the game, God, I, do you know, I do you, do you know, know how long it took to what no, to pull actually, up? I do know. Yeah, it took Can, a long time. I bet you it took twice as long for Netflix on that. Thing. Could you imagine? <laughs> but it was there. It was there. I didn't like, get. I never used it. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. It might. It might be the worst experience ever. But at least they gave you the option. Which, speaking of the worst experience ever, Twitch on Nintendo Switch. Have, um, have you? Have you? Yeah, yeah. We, wow. we we've talked about this, I believe, on this Holy podcast. Holy shit! What a nightmare that is. You ha- spoiler. You have to use your phone on your to, yeah. to to type in the Twitch is all about interaction, live streaming interaction. We have a chat right now. We're and we're not interacting because we're recording podcasts, but they know that. We'll get yeah. to them later. <laughs> but that's the whole thing about you interact. The chat talks with each other and with the streamers. It's bad. And to it's do bad. it, is it a QR code or just like, is, is there, well, how does it work? I forget. Oh, hell, I don't know. I, but, I didn't get that it, I, was, tell, I, I pulled I think it up. It, I was does, like, are you just, serious? Does, <laughs> I think it just says, like, hey, go on your phone. <laughs> yeah. Hey, go. Just get on your phone. Just you got get, the app. It's cool. Just pull yeah, the stream with your, up. With you your, can totally just chat there. Like, the You're good, dude. Fuck? <laughs> It's so bad. It's a touch it's screen. So, Why can't I just touch the screen so with the butt yeah. with the keyboard? And, and, yeah, and type on it just like I do on an iPad or a phone that has a touch. It's I don't know, man. It's like, laughable. I, I really hope that when we do get a new switch that we see like the upgraded version of all this stuff and all these weird things that we're like, why is that not like why is this not there? Like we actually see it happen. Like I don't know why it wouldn't. Like maybe it was just because the switch was this off the shelf part hail mary that they had to do to try to to get something out because the Wii U was just that's tanking. so wild that's so wild because even the OLED if you think about that I know it's the, kind of off topic even the OLED it's, it's off topic because but I mean it's still but it's so crazy to think about the OLED essentially the same guts as the original Switch from 2017 yeah and we're using in 2022 yeah, a, a hail mary, mary device from 2015 yeah well and stock I, shelf I think parts. The OLED, like I said, you know how I feel about that. I think the OLED itself is a Hail Mary anyway because of the pandemic. They were like, we're about to do this, but now we can't get any of these parts. So we're just going to put the old ones in this with a new screen. going to be fine. I think I think that's one of the smartest things you ever said, I believe. Well, you know. <laughs> I think, you're, I think, you, na- age, I think you hit, you know, the, starting to- you hit the, the nail on the head with that one. That is exactly yeah. what there is no one. No, in my mind, I can't think of any scenario. Where Nintendo thought this would be a good idea, I I believe if you ask them, no 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 cameras, no nothing, and then they, they knew the information would never get out, they'd be like, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Uh, well, these are probably things we'll hear about in five, six, seven years, whenever <laughs> it's all said and done. Yeah, we, we probably will. We'll, we'll hear about it. We'll know. We'll know eventually. It had to it's be going to be fun. Well, it's going to be fun. If whoever's idea it was, if it wasn't that, and whoever's idea was, hey, we'll just we'll just do the same fucking thing with a better screen. We have the parts where you could do a better switch. We could upgrade things a little bit inside, but we're not gonna just put the exact yeah. same part. Uh, that person should be fired because that yeah, was I that mean, was the bad idea. Maybe it would be the cheaper. Incremental Maybe, updates because there's know. also that option too. Nintendo could have been cheap and could have been like, you know what, this is going to be cheaper if we do it this way. Let's just do that. Yeah, that's also a possibility. Yeah, can we go? I mean, can we go sticks? Can we go drift? Can we talk about the drift? I didn't know those new ones are coming out in a month. Oh, listen. No, they're not coming out in a month. They're going to be here at my house in a month. You should just get I'm an extra pair and send them to me. That's, I, I Listen, I'll I'm do, only I'll do, getting what I'll, they they have pairs they are testing right now. If those are good, they are going to be mm-hmm. getting more, and then they will be coming here. But 
yes these okay so for those of you who didn't watch the video i hope you guys watched my video links down below check it out afterwards yeah please please do that but so the people who make uh the gully kit stuff and 8-bit do it's it's the same manufacturer there's a parent manufacturer that makes these things but they are the ones that are working on the 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 hall sensor the hall effect sensor sticks in the controllers uh they told me this when they sent me that uh that what was it oh the gully kit they told me it then whenever uh, when when was it it's when i got the uh the pro the abidu pro 2 yeah in those the purple one the it's black been a few one. months yeah so they were talking about it then why well, i said hey why don't you like could you do something for the the joy cons and they were like yeah we're working on that i was like oh well that's awesome but when i talked to them about the uh the eight bit do ultimate, which is on the way. I can't wait for that to get here. It's still it's not gonna be here for a while. It's still it's in the air from China right now. That sucks. Really want that thing. But um they told me when they sent me the uh the uh help me out here, the tracking number, yep, that uh the the sticks are next. The sticks are just about ready and they're gonna be next. That's awesome. So I mean I would love to see Nintendo actually adopt something like that. I think like PlayStation, Xbox, they should all do this. Like we won't have to deal with the drift anymore. Like who's going to be, who's going to be the first company? Who do you think is going to be the first company to adopt Hall Fix sticks in 2022 or whenever the next variation of the console comes out? If it's anybody. Cause, well, cause hold on. I think Nintendo would be first up, would be first up. Because yeah, PlayStation yeah. and Xbox, they just came out two years ago. They just right, celebrated yeah, two year anniversary. New, yeah. You're not going to do PlayStation hardware, and we're not talking about like a slim version or anything like that. No, no, and because, I mean, because the controller, the controller this, would be dude. the same. When you're talking about Xbox, <clears throat> That's the same this one. is the same exact controller that was with the Xbox the, One as well. The Xbox well, one. it's a little they different. Added, they did change. No, they the, added the, one button. The they design, added one button. The design is slightly different oh, it is not I, i'm what I'm, is the, the deep if we're going to be technical about it drip i'm just saying it's not identical it is slightly different okay. but it's, but it it would because they were like this is the xbox series controller series and there's there's like one less seam here is basically what it is it's it's, same shape and everything it's the same damn controller anyway the point is they're not going to do it no they're definitely not and yeah i mean we got the dual sense fives i mean these things are these things are already crazy if you put those sticks in there, which they probably honestly would probably, I, I think if they're making them for the joy cons, why won't they make them for that? I'll throw them in everything, man. Why not? Yeah. They're for the steam deck. Are you out? Um, I was going to say something and I don't remember. Uh, but you don't remember <laughs> either way the the sticks, I, I'm really excited to see what, uh, what those are going to be like. But the other thing, what else did I say about the joy? Oh yeah. The fact that, when the switch was released like i don't know if you were around for this but when the switch was released when they showed it off the first time and showed that the joy cons came off and you know you could get that that i think they they said they showed the gray and then they were like put them under a blanket and then pulled them off and it was like oh we also have colors we have red and blue and it was like ooh so that got everybody thinking like oh man what if they start doing like like a GameCube controller on the side or like you could do this or crazy things. And all these renders started going up online and everybody was just crazy. Like, you know, going not like, Oh man, that'd be so cool. Like if they did like a 64 controller or this or that, and you could, you know, mix and match and have all this stuff. They did none of it. Zero. Absolutely. None of it. No, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't count. That does not wait. count. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? They did one it's, thing. They did one count. thing doesn't count one it's for thing. charging it's for charging it they did count. one thing they put the nes, the NES controllers, controllers. <laughs> yeah oh, they work you can use them as joy con that's hilarious oh uh, my god you, it's that's yeah it's not it's not a great experience it doesn't <laughs> the one doesn't thing really the one thing they did was fucking terrible <laughs> well yeah i mean i think the point was just to charge because they didn't do it with the the Super Nintendo. What was one, so hard? What's so hard about USB C? What's so hard about a little USB C? I mean, it is nice that they just pop on there to charge if you want them to charge. It's just an option. I don't know. Either way, that was expected. That would have been really cool. But that's the thing. Another problem fixed by someone else besides Nintendo. Binbok 
is working on those. The Joy-Con, yeah. or the, yeah. I'm sorry, the uh, the GameCube controller Joy-Cons. I've seen a lot of pictures of them. I've seen videos of them working. They're sick. Like, I can't wait to get them in my hands because the ones that are coming here are purple. They're purple. I, the first and- ones that they had that they had at their place that they were testing were like, white and like oh, they didn't look very good like the yeah. sticks were all like yellowish yeah <laughs> all it was was just uh, yeah basically a mock-up to make sure everything was going to work they said they had to fix a few things but the next batch they said will be color i'm excited for that like hey, man. i i i don't even know why because i don't even play smash but it's like we've it's been cool. waiting for something like that for so long and the people who do play Smash can play now in handheld mode and still have, you know, a GameCube controller. It's going to be basically one to one, like a GameCube controller. I'm excited for it because it's interesting. It's it's different. I'm not gonna say it's an innovative innovative because like it's not, but it kind of is yeah. because they have to redesign it for the Switch. So, it, you know, yeah. It, it, yeah, I mean, well, they've been working. It's I mean, bu- when did here's I the word. Tell you about this. Uh, I was gonna say we allowed to talk about that, but yeah, no, you yeah, told yeah, you told yeah, me like okay. r- right away, essentially, like yeah. And how long ago was that? I mean, they've been working uh, on it for a long time. Five months. It was it was hot outside. It actually may have been still cold from the the previous season winter, yeah. fall or whatever spring. Yeah, maybe it's the spring tw- spring twenty twenty two. Maybe on for a while. I mean, they're working on another set of these too. Uh, that the second set of these. Yeah, because that's the thing that company Nixie just sent me. Yeah. They, they want me to do a video on these, which is their version two of the bin ones. They're literally the same thing. They're barely a different shape. They have an extra, let me see if I can get it on. There you go. It's got an extra little line of RGB for wh- right for there. For what? They, they are literally the same thing, but the difference is, and I'm going to make a video about this. Cause I get a lot of people asking me what the difference is between bin and Nixie. A thousand percent. Used, you need a you need a video on that. It used to be nothing. It used to be nothing. They they Binbok designed the controllers, but the deal they had with their manufacturer was the manufacturer was allowed to sell the design to other people. So that's why, so guys, that's if, you if got, you're on Amazon and you're still looking at these controllers, like a, let's say you search Binbok because you saw Drew's video on Binbox, you're like, okay, Amazon Binbok yeah. Joy Cons, and you see five different controllers that look identical to those, and they're with not different with, with different that's companies. Why. That's why. It's called white label. It, that's basically what it's called. But here's it, the, the difference a, is a, the quality control can be different, not only between company to company, but to be between product to product. So like that, it's no, not, it's, it's, it's not like you buy one controller from the, from one and then another one from the other, and they're going to be identical. You could, well, you could have, air, you, you could have quality control issues. You from know, one to the other, to for, the other, not even yeah. through different companies, the same exact company. You yeah. could have one of these is great. One of them's not, but that's really with anything. Now that it I know that Binbok is how much you want to spend on quality control, but yeah, that's the difference going forward. Now Binbok has made it now to where they are going to be manufacturing their own things. They're not they're not going to a manufacturer that's going to require them to to be able to sell their ideas to other people. So their new ones going forward, they are kind of like this. They are a completely different shape. Uh, from what I'm told, they're going to have rubber grips around them and stuff. I love uh, rubber on controllers, man. Uh, from love what it. I hear, they are going to have the, I, I think it's something else. It's not the Hall uh, Hall effect sensors, but it's something different for the sticks. Uh, but they they don't drift. It, it's the same thing. Uh, they're going above and beyond for stuff now. That's why that's why I'm really excited to, to be involved in what they're doing at this point. I mean, they yeah. they did what they had to do to get the money together to go to the next step, which I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how far they take it. I wish Nintendo would just make their own stuff. Like, could you yeah, imagine can, can, like, can it, can Nintendo like trying to be innovative, innovative? Is that the word? Innovative, 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 innovative within joy cons. Like, can you, we're, we're, we're six years into the switch. I can't believe Nintendo hasn't tried one thing, one thing one. that is it, like, besides the stupid NES ones. One thing like that doesn't count. Let's just, let's just sell a right Joy-Con that has GameCube buttons. That's it. It's not that design is almost identical. Well, they made one, like, another no, company made one of those too. It's just a Joy-Con that has the button. Like I know, because they were like, oh, we, they didn't do Nintendo didn't make it, so let's make it. Like, why didn't Nintendo make that? They sold well, how many millions of copies of Smash, and how many millions of Joy Cons uh, pairs of Joy Cons would they have sold? Oh God, yeah, people. I would have. I mean, I'd bought a bunch of them, but. 
And that, that's the thing. Like, they, they used to do things like that. I just feel like they don't do it anymore. And, it, it, like, uh, the, the thing. What's it called? Circle Pad. The Circle Pad Pro. Yeah. The thing that they made for the 3DS. That's innovative. Worked, that is really that's innovative. That's crazy. Yeah. And it, it worked off of the... IR sensor. The IR sensor, which we have, again, not used. Uh, I was corrected. I don't know if that's, this is right, though. Somebody in my comments said that it's used for um just dance is that right that doesn't make sense to me why would they use that wouldn't they just use the motion control to be honest with you man i am not i'm not educated on the on how the tech works enough to tell you my oldest wanted it whenever like back when i first got a switch she wanted to get just dance and her and her friend i played it once i don't think it had anything to do with the ir set i believe you just hold it you do just hold the right you do just hold the right you just but you just do this like I could sit there and do the moves like this. Like I think it's motion control, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a just dance player. Yeah. So I don't know. But I mean the IR sensor on the switch is I know they're cheap. It's not it's not expensive technology. I'm sure they just threw it in there to be like, if we need it, it's there. Here's they all, didn't do anything with it. Here's one thing that you you are missing with the IR sensor that is a big I think Nintendo thinks is a big plus for the IR sensor um, in general. What? It's incredibly hard to, to repair the Joy-Con or do anything with the Joy-Cons because that motherfucking oh, IR sensor. Dude, if you guys have sucks. ever been in the right... The left is fine. The left is what you start with. If you've ever had to do a Joy-Con cell swap or anything repair-wise in the Joy-Con, you know how much of a bleep and bleep I, I will the say ir this. sensor is <laughs> it's, it's I, it is it's a ribbon cable on in, in sandwich between other little ribbon cables underneath a piece of plastic it's just like oh my it's god it's not easy it it's is easy. so annoying i do the other one first that one that, that joy con takes me an hour first. it's I, i've done joy cons a lot of times now it still takes that one joy con takes me an hour start to finish every time i i can do joy con swaps now i know like, you can you, you rub it in quick rub it in I really quick i have now. hand pro- i've legit that, my hand my palms are swollen i gotta go to the doctor well, like i have that actual problems is, going on if you know what my issue, issue is you can message me right now and <laughs> why are my palms swollen i don't know somebody check that out pause pause the video Help me. Somebody check that out <laughs> but yeah that, it is it is a pain it's a pain to change those out but i mean i don't know i i, I just hope that I don't know if if you know they go forward with the hybrid design and all the if they better the stuff. I mean, I would think that they're going to, but I mean, I would love to see them actually make their own. I want Nintendo quality, like like this. Like, there's other 64 controllers that out thing there. Thing is beautiful, but it's not like this one. Like, they're not like this. Most one. this one ugly, is- beautiful. We're talking about the 64 controller that the the for the Nintendo Switch. It is beautiful and so ugly at the same time. It's great though. It's so nice. <laughs> I just love it. Like it the most just, unergonomic, beautiful piece of technology. Oh, whatever, ever man. Gonna... It's it's a it's a tie fire. Uh, it's a it's the an Nintendo X-Wing. Switch six. I'm sorry, the Nintendo sixty four Switch controller, the worst best controller ever made. It's good. I love it. Anyway, that's what I'm saying. My point is, Nintendo makes when they make it, it's it's nice, and I, it, I'm not. I'm honestly. I have very high hopes for the Binbok uh, GameCube Joy-Cons. I have high hopes for them. I think they're going to be good because from the things that they tell me and the quality of stuff that they're trying to put out, I think they're going to be good. I don't think they're going to be cheap. Uh, that is a thing. That I bet thing. I'm going to I'm going to guesstimate it's a $60 controller. Uh, maybe. That's what I'm going to th- say because the probably- regular bin the regular Binbox are 50. Right. I'm going to say I'm going to say they're probably Are they 40? Be, are they no, 40? They're 50. They're 50. If they're 50 then they're probably going to be 70. And I thought that actually they might have been 40. If they're 40 they're going to be 60. Oh, they may be cheaper now. They may be cheaper now. They've got another controller coming out next week that I have here. That's not fully You know, they're 40 cuz I remember thinking stuff, that they're $10 though. cheaper than these this the the the, the split pad. The split pad is in the market okay, of its well, own. When they first when they first came out, they were 50 as well. Okay, I don't think it took very long, I, though. I, I, do, I do remember saying uh, in the once Binbox sent me the second version of them, because I hated the first version. I thought they were terrible. They fixed the D-pad. They did some other stuff. These clear ones I do actually really like. Not the best, but they're they're way better than the first ones. Yeah. I think in that video that I checked these out, I did say, like, for $50 versus $50, 
I mean, you're getting all the features with these at least. You get the right. motion control, you get the the rumble, which I mean, whatever. And they they do light up, which is, I mean, it's kind of cool. They do yeah, light it up. is pretty cool. Well, guys, uh, we're gonna go to the after show now. We're gonna bring it over to the after show. The guys in the stream, you guys in stream, we're gonna hang out with you guys, and we're gonna talk about the ten year anniversary of the Wii U. That's what we're gonna be talking about in the after show because that's today. Oh, wow. Uh, but for Ow. but for the audio guys, we're gonna sign off for you guys. We're gonna stop recording, and uh, we will see you guys next week. Peace.